Health Info. Bringing you well-researched medical information. How to read blood sugar results. Serum blood glucose levels are one of the most convenient and reliable ways to check the status of diabetes in patients. It also helps in screening to identify individuals who may not have been diagnosed with diabetes yet. These blood glucose tests are categorized into two types, random blood sugar and fasting blood sugar. Random blood sugar or glucose testing measures a person's blood glucose levels at any given point in the day. Fasting blood sugar takes place after the patient has fasted for at least 8 to 12 hours. This means that the patient will avoid eating or drinking anything before the test. Depending on your results, you may have to take certain actions and seek advice. This video will give you an easy guide on recommended actions you should take. We advise that for any concerns, please reach out to your doctor. How to interpret results for patients with no known diabetes. If the blood test you had was a random blood sugar, and you got a reading of be less than 140 mg per deciliter, then your result falls under the normal range. At this stage you do not require any treatment. The test result means that you are producing good insulin and your blood sugars are at a normal and healthy level. If the blood test you had was a random blood sugar, and you got a reading between 140 and 200 mg per deciliter, then your blood sugar level is high. Patients may have prediabetes at this point. Prediabetes is a precursor of diabetes. You should seek advice from your physician to figure out your next steps and if there are any lifestyle changes you need to make to prevent or manage diabetes. If the blood test you had was a random blood sugar, and you got a reading above 200 mg per deciliter, then your blood sugar level is high. Patients may have developed diabetes at this point. Therefore, you must seek advice from your physician to figure out your next steps, any lifestyle changes you need to make, and if you need to take insulin or diabetes medications. If the blood test you had was a fasting blood sugar, and you got a reading below 70 mg per deciliter, then your blood sugar level is considered below normal levels. Patients with low blood sugar are called hypoglycemics. When blood sugar is low, patients may feel jittery or confused, and must take some sugary form of drink or food to restore their blood sugar levels to normal. Some people have a natural tendency where their blood sugars drop. They should always keep something sweet to drink or eat as soon as they start feeling their blood sugar is low. If the blood test you had was a fasting blood sugar, and you got a reading between 70 and 100 mg per deciliter, then your blood sugar level is considered normal. This means that you're producing good insulin and your blood sugars are at a normal and healthy level. If the blood test you had was a fasting blood sugar, and you got a reading between 100 and 125 mg per deciliter, then your blood sugar level is considered high. You may have a condition called prediabetes which is a precursor of diabetes. You should seek advice from your physician to figure out your next steps, and if there are any lifestyle changes you need to make to prevent or manage diabetes. If the blood test you had was a fasting blood sugar, and you got a reading above 126 mg per deciliter, then your blood sugar level is considered high. This range is highly suggestive that you may have diabetes. Therefore, you must seek advice from your physician to figure out your next steps, any lifestyle changes you need to make, and if you need to take insulin or diabetes medications. How to interpret results for patients with known diabetes. The ranges for patients with known diabetes may be different. Have a look at the various ranges and what they mean. Patients with diabetes have two types of tests. Postprandial, meaning a test after they have taken a meal. And fasting, when they are doing the blood test after 8 to 12 hours of fasting. If you are a patient with known diabetes, and you took a 2-hour postprandial test, and you got a blood sugar reading of less than 180 mg per deciliter, then you are within the range recommended by the American Diabetes Association or ADA. This means that you are maintaining good sugar levels and managing your diabetes well. Keep up the good work. If you are a patient with known diabetes, and you took a 2-hour postprandial test, and you got a blood sugar reading of 180 mg per deciliter or greater, then you are above the range recommended by the American Diabetes Association or ADA. 
This means that you are unable to maintain optimum sugar levels. You might need to reach out to your doctor to have your medicine dosages adjusted. You may also need to review your eating patterns and adjust your carbohydrate portions in the meals. If you are a patient with known diabetes, and you took a fasting blood glucose test, and you got a blood sugar reading below 70 mg per deciliter, then you are below the range recommended by the American Diabetes Association or ADA. This means that you are on the opposite spectrum of glucose control, and are actually having very low sugar levels, a condition called hypoglycemia. You need to reach out to your doctor to see if your medication dosages need to be adjusted, or if you need to take carbohydrate-containing foods. If you are a patient with known diabetes, and you took a fasting blood glucose test, and you got a blood sugar reading between 70 and 130 mg per deciliter, then you are within the range recommended by the American Diabetes Association or ADA. This means that you are doing great in maintaining your sugar levels. Excellent and keep it up. If you are a patient with known diabetes, and you took a fasting blood glucose test, and you got a blood sugar reading above 130 mg per deciliter, then you are above the range recommended by the American Diabetes Association or ADA. This means that your diabetes is getting out of control. Your physician will have to either adjust the dosage of your medications, or advise you on modifying your eating patterns to lower blood glucose levels. Take it seriously. It is important that you keep in touch with your physician and monitor your glucose rates on a regular basis. Too much or too low glucose in your blood can lead to complications. Work with your dietitian to identify the best meals that help you achieve your health goals. Keep watching our videos to learn more about diabetes. If you like our videos and want to learn more, please leave a comment below. Subscribe and share to help others.